Hello everyone, Molly Pope here of Molly Pope Art. I have a red, yellow, variegated tulip tutorial for you today. And I am using just a few colors to paint these tulips. Um, and we're beginning with a medium cadmium yellow for the majority of the body of the tulips. And then we're using a permanent red to add a beautiful red variegated coloring to these tulips. So you'll begin first by painting the yellow because that is the lighter color. And that color gets added towards the base of the flower of each petal. And then it gets used at the tops of the petals. Next, you're going to begin adding the permanent red to the petals themselves. And if you'll notice how I'm painting these uh, petals, what I want you to learn from this video, um, first, we're going to be painting wet into wet. So the red and the yellow, we're going to be blending together and basically using the wet paint uh, of the red, blending it into the wet paint of the yellow. But what I really want you to pay particular attention to um, as I'm painting these tulips is how I'm painting them in the shapes of each petal. So the, the petals are sort of rounded. They start from the base uh, of the stem and they come up and round a little bit and then they curl in towards each other at the tips of, the, of each petal. So you want to paint your um, petals in that shape. So you can see I'm using kind of like a soft C curve shape um, as I'm painting those petals. And again, they follow the shape of each petal. So that's really how you want to paint your petals. Follow the shapes. And now I'm going back into some yellow uh, and pulling that down into the red and blending those two together. You can kind of see you'll end up with a little bit of a um, a little bit of a softer orange color, um, but sort of blending those two shades together is very important. Now, the main technique that I want you to learn from this video is using wet into wet. And basically what that is, is you are doing exactly that. You're using the wet paint of the yellow and blending it into the wet paint of the red. And you should get a beautiful sort of soft blending um, with your painting. And also that wet into wet, what I see a lot of beginners do a lot of times is they don't use enough paint on your paintbrush. Um, when you're using acrylics, there's a beautiful creamy feeling um when you're using that paint and that's kind of what you want to feel when you're painting when you're whether you're painting on paper or you're painting on canvas um, a lot of times a lot of beginners don't use enough paint so the paintbrush sort of drags across the surface um, and it feels rough and the feeling that you should feel in your hand from your paintbrush is you want there to be a smoothness. Um, it should feel smooth and creamy coming off of from your paintbrush to your paper, your canvas. So make sure you're using enough paint um, so that the paint is wet enough that you can kind of blend those two different colors together. Um, it's sort of a, you'll, you'll get the feel of it over time, um, but that's basically what I would like you to feel is creaminess and no drag. I call it drag. Um, so it should feel nice and smooth.
And again, you're going to use that red in the middle part of each petal. Um, so you've already laid down that yellow. You're going back in and adding that red and sort of blending those two areas together um, and pulling them down, pushing your pushing them together um, and blending them out softly and smoothly. Um, you want each area of each of the petals to sort of have a shadow area and a highlight area um, so that you can sort of show the viewer looking at your painting that those petals are separate from one another. So um, they're overlapping each other and you're painting them in sort of that soft um, curved shape. So one thing I wanna talk about um, is when you're beginning to paint or draw, um, it feels like it's going to be impossible to learn. Um, both of those are skills that you can develop over time. Um, and you're only going to develop those skills with practice. So I want to encourage you to keep trying. If you're trying to learn how to paint or draw, um, the best thing I can tell you is to um, keep trying, keep going, and I promise you, you will get better. The more you paint, the easier it becomes. Um, and also be kind to yourself as you're painting. Um, you're learning a new skill, you're building muscle memory. And uh, speak kindly to yourself as you're learning. So you wanna encourage yourself. And I promise you, you can do this. You will get better. The more you paint, the more you practice, it gets easier, I promise you. So keep practicing. And if you ever have any questions, um, if you're struggling with some sort of painting or drawing, um, please ask me that question in the comment section. I really would like to help you on your painting journey, so please ask me. I'm happy to help. And you're just going to continue blending those areas together. Um, the red into the yellow and the yellow into the red. These little tulips, the red, yellow, uh, variegated variety, you can see there's a little bit of yellow down towards where the um, petals connect to the stem. So there's a little bit of a, add a little bit of a bright yellow to that spot. And you'll see, um, I'm starting on that second little, um, smaller shaped tulip bud um, as it's I wanted it to show that it looked like it was beginning to open so it's a little bit tighter bud um, so you don't see as much detail on this second uh, flower bloom um, on the petals but they're a little bit tighter budded together so again um, starting with the red this time on this tulip and just applying that red you can see two different ways of painting these red yellow variegated um, the first one i started with the yellow first and the second bud here starting with the red first um, as long as you end up with the you know the red yellow variegated tulip there that it looks realistic you can begin with either color and you'll see that you can get beautiful results whatever you start with um, either the red first or the yellow first but the technique is the same you're blending those two colors together and um, so there's not a definite stop and start point with those colors you want to blend them beautifully together and again make sure you have enough paint on your paintbrush your brush is wet it's um, more of a damp feel your paintbrush is meant to hold lots of paint in the body of the paintbrush. So you want to make sure you have fully loaded your paintbrush uh, and it feels creamy coming up and out of those colors.
And again, equally important, you can see that I'm painting the petals in the shape that they would grow. So they're sort of radiating up and out from the stem. So you can see just a, that sort of soft little curve to the left um, from the stem up and out towards the tips and on the right side sort of up and out from the stem towards the tip. So they're painted. Um, just kind of remember that as you're painting something, especially something that is round, a flower petal, um, you're painting in the shape that it would grow so that you want that appearance that that um, flower overall has shape and dimension. And I mixed a little bit of a highlight color for the very tips of the tulip petals. And I mixed that using a titanium white with that medium um, cadmium yellow. So it's kind of like a, a creamy yellow, still tinged a little bit on the heavier yellow side, but just enough to get some bright highlight on the very tips of those petals and now blending down into the red uh, of that front little petal there. You can kind of see me blending both of those colors and you may need to do a couple passes on your petals. Um, and just to sort of get the idea, um, you'll have to paint a couple passes and then let it dry down and assess what your painting needs and go from there. So you may need to add a little bit more deeper color, um, depending on what your painting needs, or you may need to bring up the highlights a little bit more brighter. To begin painting your stems, um, I used a medium olive green. I love, love, love this green. It's one of my favorite greens to paint with. It's bright and springy green. Um, so it's a perfect uh, greenery to paint um, spring blooming uh, flowers. So it is that medium olive green and just sort of base coat that stem first and I then mix in a little bit of a hooker's green. I even added a little bit of that green up into the body of the tulip because sometimes you can see um, with tulips, they're sort of the petals are transparent and you might see some sunlight streaming through those petals. So I did add a little bit of green um, to that smaller um, bud and also this, I just let the, um, the first tulip dry down a little bit and then I felt like I needed to bring the highlight up on that uh, first tulip a little bit more. So just adding a little bit more of that bright yellow in certain spots and now I'm going back and adding uh, a deeper green to parts of the stem, just sort of outlining on either side and then in the middle. Um, and you can get a beautiful striation in your greens by using um, that light um, green first and then going back in with a little bit deeper green which is mixed with uh, hooker's green mixed with a little bit of burnt umber and especially in the shadow areas where that stem starts to be hidden by the leaves um, and also under the head of the tulip just sort of reinforce that area and add a little bit deeper color in those particular areas one thing I think that is important to notice here is that the stems are painted in a vertical manner. So this is completely different than the uh, flower petals that are painted in more of a curved fashion. So just vertically applying the paint up and down through the stem. I did 
paint a little bit of a curve to those petals. Again, um, they sort of look a little bit more realistic. If you don't paint them perfectly straight, flowers do not grow perfectly straight. So to get them a little bit more realistic, it always looks lovelier to me to have a little bit of curve in the stem. So I'm painting them in the shape that they would grow, the shape that I drew them with a little bit of a curve. Now that interior color for those leaves, um, the leaves are sort of folded over onto themselves. So you'll see um, I'm painting the interior fold of that petal first. And I mixed up a really dark olivey green and I mixed that by the Burnt Umber and uh, Hooker's Green. So the outside of that is that same mix, but I just added a little bit more of the Hooker's Green. So it gets to be a little bit brighter in color. And then each of the um, leaves over the top, I'm just going back over that by adding that medium olive green to sort of lighten and brighten those tulip leaves um, on the outside. And just letting those leaves dry down a little bit and I will keep adding a little bit more of that light olive green and finally the highlight color is just adding a little bit of titanium white into that mix to really get those leaves light and bright and springy green looking. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I really appreciate you spending your time and watching my videos. If you have any questions please drop them in the comment section and please like and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.